Hey, what's up guys? This is Daxon here with Noxad.org. Um, today I want to make this little tutorial of something uh, I kind of figured out. There's so many videos on YouTube and steps online, and it seems like people are making this way too complicated. Um, but basically what we're going to be doing is I have a friend that wants me to 3D print like this spike right here um, only, and he wants to put it on his actual motorcycle helmet so we don't need the we don't need this model that i had found all i need is this the spike part so what can we do to cut this from everything else from say right here at the base and take out all this and just have the spike left like i've i'm seeing people with like 10 to 20 minute tutorials and lots of thumb down thumbs down and people confused on how to do this and i'm not understanding what what's really so hard about this um, maybe there's something I'm missing out, but I, I kind of wanted to learn how to do this. Couldn't figure out how, so I was, I was looking and I just finally started messing around and within a few minutes, I found what worked for me. So I'm using Autodesk 123D Design. It is free. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is basically the simplest way I can figure out how to do this. What I'll do is just find a shape. It really doesn't matter what shape, and this one, since I want it to be flat, I'm just going to use a box. So I'll create my box here. I'll click on the box and now I just want to make it bigger. So basically it'll cover up the entire guy here, the entire soldier. Um, so we'll just go like this a little bit, just kind of make it, you know, pretty good size here and everything. And then we're good to go right there. And I'll click on the box again and I'll come down to my move tool. And I can use arrows. This one will bring it up and down. And we'll just kind of make it to where the box is covering up everything except what we want to leave left over. All right, so it's, it's really pretty simple, guys. All right, it's just getting it exactly where you want it here. All right, now you can see it's starting to cover up the guy. Looks like he's all covered up. And now I'm gonna start bringing it up. I'm going to scroll in with my mouse and that'll allow me to, to zoom in. So I'll just go a little bit at a time to right about there. And then I can just um, scroll back out a little bit. And okay, everything looks good. So I can just click out and I'm good to go. The last step in this is I come up here to the little combine tool and I'll find the one that says subtract. I'll click on the piece that I'm wanting to keep and then I'm going to click on this box I believe this is the older you do it, it well, we're about to find out click on the box and then we'll click out and it says I want to proceed yes sure and it'll take five to ten seconds here it's kind of a big process for this to handle and we should be left over with nothing but the spike and there we have it so there is our spike, and now I'm going to be able to scale it. You know, obviously it's going to have to be quite a bit bigger since it's going to be, I think, you know, three inch or something like that for his helmet. So I can easily scale it up here. I will do that actually in Cura because it'll help keep it scaled. It's just a little bit more basic and simple. But anyway, guys, if this video helped you out, hopefully I made this really simple for you to be able to do this. Um, and appreciate it if you like, share, subscribe, comment if you have any more questions or suggestions. Don't forget to check out my website, www.noxat.org. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.